My name is Lisa, and I'm a high school student attending a local high school. I have a boyfriend named Ignatius, and I'm enjoying a fulfilling high school life. On this day. Lisa, do you have any dreams for the future? Dreams for the future? Hmm. I don't really have anything grand. Do you have any dreams, Ignatius? Me? I want to do something big, something that will go down in history. Something that will go down in history? Isn't that going to be really difficult? Yeah, it's not something ordinary you can achieve. That's why I want to go to the best university possible. I see, so that's why you want to go to a university in Tokyo instead of staying local. The more knowledge and learning you have, the better. I want to work hard now as an investment for the future. I see, it's amazing how you're thinking so far ahead, Ignatius. No, no, this is just natural. If you just play around as a student, you'll end up regretting it. Ignatius was smart, excelled in sports, and was popular with other girls as well. Ignatius and I often like to talk about our future, including our university plans. Then one day, my father, who was a businessman, suddenly passed away in an accident. Dad, why did you leave us? It was a car accident. There's nothing we could do. It's not nothing we could do. It's their fault, isn't it? Why did Dad have to go through this? Lisa, I feel the same way. I want to get in a car and do the same to them. But, Dad would have said not to hold a grudge against them. Maybe, but, ugh. We managed to get through the funeral and said an early goodbye to my father. After that, my mother took over the company, but due to the challenging circumstances, I was considering giving up on going to college. On this day, I was telling Ignatius about it. So, things are tight financially, and I'm planning to give up on going to college. Wait, is your company going under? That's right, we might not be able to save my dad's company. I see, then there's no point in dating you anymore, let's break up. What? Ignatius, what are you saying? No, no, I was only dating you to take over your dad's company. I thought it was a promising business. Is that how you saw me? It's not about you, it's about choosing a partner, right? I'm going now, it's a waste of time to keep this up, so goodbye. I was shocked to learn that Ignatius had dated me only for my father's company. Still, with the support of my mother and friends, I managed to recover and move forward. A few years later. Lisa, congratulations. It's incredible that you got a job at your first choice company. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. He, you were so anxious until you got the job offer. Let's celebrate your new job by going out for your favorite tempura. Let's invite Noah too and celebrate together. Yay! Tempura! Just wait, I'll contact Noah right away. I had secured a job at my first choice company, and my mother reserved a table at a tempura restaurant for the celebration. She suggested inviting my boyfriend, Noah, so I decided to ask him to join us. A few days later, when we entered the reserved restaurant, I recognized someone sitting at the counter. Ha! Huh. Lisa? Hey, why are you at such a fancy place? Ignatius! Is this the ex-boyfriend you mentioned? I see. This must be the guy. This is your current boyfriend and mother? Hi, I'm Ignatius, and this is my girlfriend, Jovita. Nice to meet you I've heard about you, the girl whose father's company went bankrupt and who fell into poverty. Poor thing. Only a high school graduate. I really sympathize. By the way, Ignatius and I are both graduates of Tokyo Dokian University. Yeah, we're an elite couple. Plus, I received a job offer from a top company. Pretty awesome, right? Is that so? Yeah, I got an offer from Uno Sukaka, a rapidly rising company with high salaries. That's why we're here to celebrate with luxury tempura. Right, but can you guys afford to eat here? Wah. How rude. No, no, people barely scraping by with just a high school diploma definitely don't belong here. It's a nuisance to the restaurant, so you should leave. We'll eat your portion too. Exactly. The tempera will be happier that way. Now, time for you and your mom to leave. Ignatius and Jovita tried to drive us out of the restaurant. Then, my mother, who had been silent, spoke up. Excuse me. Did you say you got a job offer from Anosuka? Yeah, what about it? You know about it, right? I'm impressive, aren't I? Totally. Getting a job at Unosukaka, which is really hot right now. 
Ignatius is really amazing. Well, in that case, consider that job offer cancelled. What? What are you talking about, lady? Have you lost your mind from anger? Suddenly cancelling a job offer? That makes no sense. You should at least remember the CEO of the company you're joining. Anosuka is the company I run as president, so I'm going to have to cancel your job offer. I see. I didn't know the CEO's face, and the Unosaka president is a woman. Nice bluff, really hitting the mark there. His ex-girlfriend's mother being the CEO of his future company? That's just too far-fetched. I don't know how upset you are, but that's just too desperate. Unosaka is the company my mother rebuilt after renaming my father's company. Didn't you say it was a promising business? You had your eyes on my father's company, but you didn't even notice. The speech at the time of the name change, when the company was on the brink of bankruptcy. It's become a legend among the employees. Success is 1% supported by a 99% failure, right? The turnaround that unfolded with the employees united was amazing. Thank you, but it was all thanks to everyone, not just me. Not at all. It was you, my mother-in-law, who ignited that spirit in everyone. Without you, there would be no Onosuka today. Noah, you're so kind. Eat all the tempura you like. Yay. Can I eat a lot of chrysanthemum greens? Noah, you can eat something better since we're here, you know? Hey, hey, don't get all excited over there. I don't believe for a second that this lady is the CEO. We were about to ignore them and proceed with our meal, but Ignatius stopped us. A bit annoyed, I said. What is it now? Haven't we finished talking? Besides, before making a scene, why don't you just look it up on your phone? My mom's photo is on the company's homepage. Ugh, showing your true colors, huh? What? No way, it's true, she's the president. Then, Ignatius really lost his job offer. What's the point of being with him then? What? What do you mean, no point in being with me? You liked my title more than who I am. Talk about poetic justice, exactly what you said in high school. You did the same thing, so why do you get to be upset? Birds of a feather. You were a good match after all. A relationship dependent on titles is pretty sad. Shut up. I don't want to hear that from a high school grad. Actually, you're mistaken there. Lisa graduated top of her class from the National Kiyosuke University, not just a high school grad. What? Kiyosuke University. And top of her class at such a prestigious university. That's too much. You said you gave up on college because of no money. Were you deceiving me all along? We were indeed out of money then and Lisa was about to give up on university. That's true, but Lisa had excellent grades, so I suggested universities where her tuition would be waived. She worked really hard and got into Kyosuke University. Thanks to that, I got a job at Guguru LLC. I hate to admit it, but it was good to work hard as an investment in the future. No way. Guguru LLC, as in the world-famous Guguru. Guguru, as in the one dominating the internet. That means you're an elite on a global level. By the way, Noah has also secured a job at the same company. That's why we came to celebrate here today. Oh, speaking of which, are we out of place here? If so, that means you guys are too. Whether you're out of place or not isn't for you to decide. I'm glad our company is well regarded, but don't get carried away by titles alone. Ignatius and Jovita who thought they had the upper hand, were completely outdone. Faced with this turnaround, Ignatius turned red with embarrassment. I didn't know, so it's not my fault. Bunosaka is the kind of company that can make you arrogant. You should overlook things like being out of place. As a CEO, you should be more forgiving. A CEO should be more forgiving. How absurd. Clearly, they are the ones out of place here. What's with that attitude? I haven't done anything wrong. It's your narrow-mindedness that's the problem. So, you're the ones who are out of place. You really have the nerve to talk to the CEO of your prospective employer like that. Your boldness to speak your mind. I almost respect that. The decision to cancel your job offer is final, no matter what you say. But still, it's impressive in its own way. Hey, hey, are you serious about that job offer cancellation? I can't afford that. Do you think I would joke about such a thing? Of course, I'm serious. Wait a minute. You're canceling it over just that. That's not just narrow-minded, it's tyrannical. Tyrannical. That's harsh. 
someone as unreasonable as you would definitely cause problems. The job offer is cancelled, and I'll have to have a word with HR who decided to hire you. Just thinking about you behaving like this with our client sends shivers down my spine. Such behavior could lead to a significant financial loss. It's more than just shivers. Ha, huh, you tried so hard to get that offer, but in the end, that's all you were. You're more suited for a job with a lower salary. What's that supposed to mean? This is all your fault, isn't it? That makes no sense. It's clearly your fault, right? I'm not to blame. You instigated me, and I said too much. What? You were just as eager, weren't you? I'm saying it's your fault. Someone as elite as me can't lose a job over a blunder like this. You are exactly the kind of person who makes such blunders. No, that's not true. I am big and the greatest. I'm not the kind of person who would mess up like this. Finally fed up with Ignatius and Jovita, who started arguing and ignoring us, I said. Enough already. You're causing trouble for the restaurant. No way. This is a high-end place. This kind of thing must be normal. That's absurd. If this is normal, what kind of lawlessness is going on here? Anyway, be quiet. Outsiders should stay out of it. If you didn't want outsiders to intervene, you should have taken this elsewhere. Lisa's right. Just get out of the restaurant, both of you. Don't be ridiculous. Who's going to listen to what you say? Why are you acting so high and mighty when you've just lost your job? Just go. At least you leave. Why should I be the only one to leave? If we're leaving, you're coming with me. All right. That's enough. You're really bothering everyone here. You can act like this only for now. Ha! Huh. What are you suddenly talking about? All you can do is cancel my job offer. Can you just be quiet, ma'am? This is a discussion among young people. Sorry for being old. By the way, I have quite a wide network. I was thinking of spreading the word about you two. I hope you both find new employment soon. Mother intervened as Ignatius and Jovita started to argue again. Hearing her words, the two suddenly became quiet. Wait, what do you mean? Does that mean my job offer will be gone too? Well, that's for the company to decide, but knowing what happened today, I wonder how many companies would still want to hire you two in Japan. Ha ha, surely, not even my prospective employer, the DQN company, would. Ah, uh, the DQN company, right? I meet their president quite often. I'm sure he would believe what I say without a doubt. That's terrible. Wait a minute. Are you saying you'll interfere with our re-employment too? It's more like sharing information with a president I owe a lot to, but it might end up affecting your chances, right? Don't be ridiculous. Why does this have to happen to us? We just came to eat tempura, you know? It wasn't the tempura, but the way you salted us that was the problem. Well. It seems like it all came back to you in the end. Why do you look so smug? We're at the edge of being able to use our fresh graduate status or not. Exactly. Which is why you shouldn't be looking down on people or fighting, right? By the way, it's better not to repeat a year just to keep calling yourself a new graduate. Failing university credits in Japan speaks volumes. What do we do, Ignatius? We're going to be jobless. Not yet. It's not over yet. She must only have connections in related fields, if we aim for top companies in a different field. Right. That's smart, Ignatius. Top companies? You're still hung up on that. Mother-in-law, didn't you attend a party with various company presidents recently? Yes, it was a multi-industry gathering for inspiration. Depending on how it's communicated, I could mention it to presidents in other fields too. Ha ha. I'm cornered. This is impossible. Then, are we only left with companies below second tier? As long as you look down on companies, you won't be able to find employment anywhere. At least complete a proper self-analysis before you start. As a preemptive investment in your future, this has been a valuable experience. Well then, goodbye. The exit is that way. Let's go, Jovita. We were never elites. No, this is impossible. I can't do this. Thus, Ignatius and Jovita left the restaurant. Heads bowed. Soon after, Ignatius received official notice of his job offer cancellation, followed by Jovita. Triggered by these events, the two began to blame each other and eventually broke up. They tried applying to various companies, but due to Mother's network, they mostly got rejected in the document screening phase. 
Even when they managed to get to interviews, they couldn't explain why they were job hunting at this time, and neither found employment. Ignatius, having faced too many rejections, lost all his confidence and shut himself in his room. Jovita, trying to escape reality, fell into host club entertainment and accumulated a large debt. This way, both Ignatius and Jovita ended up living a life far from the bright future they once envisioned, only seeing a bleak future ahead. As for me… Man, the tempura the other day was really delicious. Haha, <laughs> yes, it lived up to the difficulty of getting a reservation. And Noah, you kept eating nothing but chrysanthemum greens. Can help it, I love chrysanthemum green tempura. Still, to think the day would come when my daughter would treat me to a meal. I have to be filial to mother, considering all the support I've received. The chrysanthemum greens in sukiyaki are not as good, but they're delicious when made into tempura. But you know, the best way you can be filial to me is just by being healthy and happy. Mother. Hey, next time, let me treat everyone to sukiyaki, okay? Noah. Uh, I was having a serious moment just now. Then let's have him treat us to some delicious sukiyaki. Yes, and chrysanthemum greens. Not beef. Since then, I've been working hard as a new employee at a global company. The company language is English, and the job demands a high level of performance, making my days quite challenging. I treated mother to tempura with my first salary, and she was delighted, especially since the restaurant was hard to book. Noah, too, somehow said he would treat us to sukiyaki, giving us something to look forward to. In this way, our family, supported by delicious food and each other, continues to work hard every day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more great content. Just click on the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.